Hi! So, I missed What's This Wednesday? It's midterms and I'm unreliable on my upload schedule, so no one's surprised. What I'm bringing to you today is this. But it's not just any boxy charm video. No, because as you know, I am cheap. And also mostly poor. And college is expensive, so I, of course, would not be spending the BoxyCharm fee, even though I would love to get BoxyCharm, I cannot afford it. So when the Summer's Eve BoxyCharm promotion came out, I was like, hey, I could, I could get in on this. A friend of mine sent me the information, and um, of course there's some people that want to be gross in the videos, oh, Summer's Eve. We all have lady parts. I have literally had to have a hysterectomy for my health. I've had lots of people dealing with my lady parts, so, you know, if you're a lady, uh, or were born with those parts, you've got them. Now, on that note, I think the idea of this promotion was great, and I'll get more into that later. Next time they do it, and I do, I definitely, BoxyCharm will never hear this, but if they do, I definitely recommend them to do something like this again, but maybe a more gender-neutral uh, brand to co-promote this with just because there are a lot of guys in makeup now so think about that there are a lot of guys that help kind of support boxy charms so just you know food for thought moving on pros and cons obviously the pro is pretty much free makeup you were to get two items of the Summer's Eve's products, it did not matter how expensive they were. I think I maybe spent $4, $5. Uh, you uploaded the receipt. It was super simple. It probably took 10 minutes tops. In and out. And you gave them your information. And in the mail came a BoxyCharm box. Mine came this morning. The cons. It, was, it wasn't implicitly said. And it wasn't directly implied, but pretty much everybody thought they were getting the November boxy charm box. And that may have been the original plan, but the reaction to this promotion was massive. So either the plan from the beginning was to kind of clear out their inventory of products from this year's boxes that didn't really sell out, which is a great idea to begin with. You get new people interested in your products. You get new people, um, their email and information for you to contact if they've offered for you to be allowed to do that. And they're getting your service for, you know, you to look at or for them to look at. I honestly, if that was their goal from the very beginning is to send, you know, stuff that didn't sell out in previous boxes right from the beginning I think that was a great idea especially like a declutter type mentality I just think maybe people felt a little mis misled so just moving forward if you decide to do it again BoxyCharm just have it be like a mystery collection or a special collection or something somewhere that notates that the BoxyCharm box that the people who do the promotion are getting is not that month's boxy charm because a lot of people really thought they were getting November's box and that was curated by Kim Kardashian and they were super excited about it. Um, it had the cover FX drops in it and that's where everybody was super excited about. And of course people are not getting those boxes. Um, I have yet to see anyone get that box with this promotion. People may. Uh, but it is currently the 7th, 8th, I don't know what day it is, <laughs> it's midterms, it's the 8th of November, um, and I think about 3 or 4 days worth of boxes have been out, I don't know why my camera doesn't know where I am right now, um, and nobody's gotten them so far, so it's probably pretty easy to say that uh, that's not happening. Now, that may have been the intention and the November box just sold out. Um, either way, you're getting a free boxy charm box. So, totally, I like I said, I am not looking at the gift horse in the mouth. Not one bit. But I think, like, just that one little word. 
one little word like mystery or special or exclusive any anything that denoted it to be different would have really played in boxycharm's favor um there is a note if you go to my instagram i have a screenshot of it that they are going to be shipping from now camera are you okay they're going to be shipping from now until December 31st. By December 31st, they hope to have all of the boxes from this promotion shipped out. Because I don't think they put a cap on it. It's just they had so many that they kind of had to just really draw it out a little bit. And it's not that they had to draw it out. It's just they didn't have enough people or, or what have you to keep up with it. So... If you're not getting any information or you didn't get your box yet, don't panic. Just check that website that's in your email. So I know we're all here. You're like, shut up, lady. Just show me what's in your friggin' box. First thing, and I'm going to do uh, this kind of like a get ready with me as we go through this. This is something that I was actually really excited about when I opened the box. It is a Becca. I'll read the box and show you the product. How about that? <laughs> it's a Becca First Light Primerizing Filter. I did swatch everything earlier. There are swatches uh, that I took pictures of. Um, just because I'm impatient. So everything's been opened. This has a shimmer to it. Which I just... I, I don't... I don't know how that's going to show up on camera. Uh, because my skin does look a lot more even on camera than it does in person which I guess is good, but this is the travel size. Its value is $18, I think it was when I looked it up. Now, I did look up my entire box, because I'll probably forget to say this later. It was $126 value, so even if you paid the $21 for the BoxyCharm price, you're still getting your promised over $100 value of retail value. This smells really good. It smells like a candy, and I can't think of what it is, but it just smells really good. But it has definitely a shimmer to it. So if you are someone who um, puts like a uh, highlight drops down before you foundation, you might want to hold off on that. So we'll look at the brush set while that settles in. This is the, and I had such trouble reading this, and... Like, I'm such an old lady because I almost reach for my glasses. But the it's just the font and the color on color. But it's the Alomar brush set. Now, I think this is from June? It was from one of their summer brushes. Or summer <laughs> boxes. Um, I was really looking forward to the November box set brush kit. I needed, um, well, I didn't need, I have to admit, I have way too many brushes. But I like detail brush kits. So I was excited that this was at least a detailed brush kit. It's a high quality brush kit. It's not necessarily, I think the one that was advertised in the November set was like four. Really camera, this camera is ridiculous. It was four pieces, this is three. I got the Nightingale palette from Pretty Vulgar. I think it's beautiful when it comes to aesthetic but the payout is just it's really weak in my opinion I don't like disliking things but the mats just don't have a payout to me um, I am going to do an eye look with it and see where it goes I like the foils nice enough, but the thing is, I have Morphe palettes, and they do foils really well, so if that's what I'm looking for, that's what I'm going to reach for. This palette, for the price, the, the list price, to buy it outright, definitely not. Definitely not, especially with how patchy the mattes are. So, I'll be right back. I'm not going to make you guys wait for it, but... I will show you. Uh, like I said, I'm going to throw the picture of the swatches up here. And you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then I wiped it once with a piece of dry toilet paper just to see like the, the staying power. And that's what happened. 
just like pretty much all wiped right off so this is not going to be an all-nighter for you so let's see how well it'll blend out for me but i'm not going to uh make you guys listen to me babble that whole time so we'll do that cool little uh speed run showing off don't wanna have to wait tonight wait tonight bets are off I'm gonna find my way tonight Way tonight Won't you talk to me? I wanna heal your sorrow Won't you talk to me? We'll make a new tomorrow Won't you talk to me? One night to find the answer Won't you talk to me? What makes this happy for Okay, now that I need to officially wash underneath both my eyes because the amount of fallout um I mean overall it's not a horrible palette do I think it's a $35 palette or um okay, I think that's how much I looked it up as no I hit the desk I do not. I think there's some colors that are just trying to be things they're not. Like, um, okay. Break Free is a shimmering off-white, but it has so much chunks of multi-metallic glitter in it that it's almost like it's trying to be like a, a, a pixie colored highlight glitter but it just doesn't fit with the rest of the palette clutch is beautiful and goes with I spy but I don't feel like swoop which swaps like swatches this really fits with it um all right the next thing in this box here yeah, was something I really liked and that is, I think I'll move on to the liner. And it is from Butter London. And I actually didn't own anything from Butter London before this. So this was really nice. And I think that's the concept of the BoxyCharm is to get you to have an opportunity to try things that you normally wouldn't. So this is their Lustrous Liner. And I got it in Disco, which is a shining black and I'm gonna put some liner on and I'm not that great at it so we're gonna pause a second okay so I went ahead and used the butter London on my top lids and then lined my waterline with my good old wet n wild coal liner in black just because that's what I feel most confident in when it comes to my waterline I have to say like I'm the only liquid liner that I've felt comfortable with in the past has been the BH Cosmetics liquid liner pen because I do have a pretty bad tremor. Uh, today it's not so bad, but that's because I've been taking my CBD pretty much all day because, again, midterms. But this, honestly, I'm super impressed with. Um, I almost hate getting attached to brands this expensive. Um... <laughs> But the way that it doesn't transfer, so I have hooded lights, I think that's what it's called. So it doesn't transfer super easily and stick all over the top of my eyes. But I was able to kind of almost lay the pen down as I went to keep myself straight. I haven't had liquid liner this close to my lash line since high school, since before I got sick. So that's 10 out of 10 would recommend. And it's, it's black and it's sparkly, but it's not like it's, it's called disco, but it's not childish. It's not rave inducing. Like it definitely saves the shadow. Um, so they are a good complement to one another. I definitely will be using 
the liner again and I will probably end up using all of it because this is a very small container uh, but that's kind of par for the course on the high-end brands isn't it so let me finish up my eyes here and we'll finish off this box okay so I didn't put any false lashes on because I want this liner to show and also I just kind of hate putting them on <laughs> um, I'm really lazy so the last two things in my box were the Laura Geller of New York blush and brighten baked blush in tropical hues and it has a little mirror in it which is nice and it has so many colors in the blush itself as you can tell I swatched a couple times and the Hank and Henry matte lipstick in Petal Pusher and if you saw this mark earlier this is from about one o'clock in the afternoon I swatched it and I put it on and I've actually taken a shower I took soapy hands over it um, it does not want to give up so the swatch alone of this stuff is just it's in it to win it so I put a plumping primer on my lips it smells like big red gum this blush is a bit deep for me I was looking to see if I had a small blush brush but I this will work okay so it's a bit deep for me um, because I'm albino um, so we're just gonna really tap it in there tap it in I probably won't be using this much as a blush which is really unfortunate because it's so pretty it's so pretty but I will be using it as an eyeshadow because the dimensions in the color are just like the camera doesn't do it justice they are breathtaking knocking stuff down to get you light they're just so pretty I can't get it to pick it up but it, they're so pretty so if you get a chance to look at these in stores and find your actual shade I would definitely recommend to at least taking a look at it um, like it looks like a stinking piece of art but I am going to definitely keep it and I think I'm going to like I said use it as a eyeshadow or maybe even a highlight on lippies so I do have a lip liner that is pretty close in shade to the petal pusher so this is petal pusher and this is my lip liner it's a little lighter now I suck at lip liner and I suck at matte lips so I'm sorry in advance <laughs> and I promise to speed this footage up okay so that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be I actually do genuinely like the doe foot of that I always get this like there's just a little bit of my lip and I guess I just need to accept that's part of my lip so I hate this part I hate this part It gives me anxiety <laughs> um, and then the only other thing I really had thought about was taking this beautiful blush because it goes so well with the slip I think for a day look that would be a lot better for night you could take it or leave it but for day bright say bright and shiny so overall that is my really long video about what's in your free box of john box and guess what probably not going to be what's in your box because they are mystery boxes but it's what was in mine <laughs> if you enjoy getting ready with me and even though i'm getting ready for nothing in particular um you know how to subscribe to channels and it would be super duper awesome if you wanted to subscribe to mine if you don't want to subscribe or if you want to subscribe and then do a little more you could always like the video because that would be cool uh, you can leave a comment if you want if you want to say hi I love to comment back um, or follow me on social media because I have all those things um, but I'm really bad at checking some of them so please don't be offended if I don't answer you right away. 
Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys to death. Sail safe, Spartans. Until next time. Bye-bye.